This is the safest, most inventive, and most revolutionary outlet that we are likely to see in our lifetime. Electrical receptacles like this, more commonly known as outlets, have hardly changed at all in the last 100 plus years since their last patent. For over a century, we've been wrapping bare wires around screws, often poorly, eliciting odd alliterations to ascertain understanding of which wires wind which way around which screws, black to brass and white to light, or is it bright to brass and hot to light? And doing our best to avoid letting our digits, receptacles, or tools touch any of the more than six exposed and electrically charged metal areas on the outlet. Leviton has set out to completely reinvent the outlet, and in my opinion, with this outlet, they have done exactly that. Let's take a look at the five features that set this one apart completely from modern day outlets. The first and biggest new feature is these levers. If you've seen me talking about Wago lever nuts, these will look familiar. The concept is super simple and pretty diverse as well. You can insert either 12 gauge or 14 gauge wire, and you can use either stranded or solid wire for this, but solid wire will definitely be the more commonly used wire. On the corner of the receptacles, there's a strip gauge showing exactly how much of the sheathing to remove, which is 9 16 of an inch, and with the wire stripped, you literally just open the lever, insert the wire all the way, and then snap the lever closed. To be clear, this is not the same setup as speed wiring or backstabbing, which I recommend avoiding at all costs. There's more contact on the wires, they can be used with multiple gauges and wire types, and perhaps most importantly, they are 100% reusable. The talented Jay from Fix This House did a pull force test to find out exactly how much weight these can handle just with their lever connections alone. In his testing, he found that it didn't fail until he put at least 35 pounds of pull force on it. Just for comparison's sake, I wanted to try this myself with the backstabbing terminals to see how much weight they could hold, and here's what I found. Uh, there it goes. Okay, so the backstab made it to 80 pounds, and it failed at 85. Now, even with being able to hold that much weight, keep in mind that with these backstabs, you cannot use different gauge wires, you cannot use different types of wires, and you definitely can't and should not reuse the backstab terminals. Just to be clear here, neither of these techniques are likely to give you quite as much resistance as if you were to wrap the wire around the stud of a screw and tighten it properly. Okay, there's 100 pounds. Our sheathing is coming off. Oh, it's slipping. The whole thing is... The cable, the Romex wiring broke before the uh, piece came out. Okay, that really stinks. I just totally broke both of these adjustable dumbbell sets that I've had for several years. But now we know 125 is the limit of the Romex cable itself at 14 gauges. That does of course beg the question, however, how much strength is enough strength? And in my opinion, 35 pounds of resistance is absolutely plenty. Now the trade-off here with using the screw terminals, of course, is the time invested. Another important factor for these levers is speed and ease of installation. I have several dedicated videos on mistakes people make when wiring outlets, but let's compare here. If I wire an outlet at full speed, you can see exactly how long it takes me to wire this up, whereas using the Decora Edge, the same exact process takes me so much less time. That is an absolute win. That leads us to our second feature, which is the color-coded levers. No guessing, no memorizing, no looking things up. Several years ago, I had to memorize the phrase black to brass and white to bright. That's what helped me to understand which wires went on the brass screws and which wires went on the silver screws. With this new Leviton design, everything is plain as day. Black levers for your black wires, white levers for your white wires, and the green for ground. It's all pretty straightforward and it makes me think, why have we not had something like this in the past? The result of these cleverly colored levers is that there are literally zero exposed metal conductive parts anywhere on this outlet. Everything is completely covered up. Now folks, do not try this at home. I just wanted to show, however, that this completely live outlet right here with electricity flowing through it, I can actually wrap my hand all the way around it because there is nothing exposed. Everything is contained in there, and that means I'm at way less risk of receiving any sort of electrical shock.
A traditional outlet, on the other hand, has exposed electrical areas here, 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 and here, and oftentimes along here, that you can touch with your fingers, with ground wires in the junction box, with other outlets, with your screwdriver, or even against a metal junction box itself. These are all risks and failure points that are completely avoided with the Decora Edge system. Personally, many times I've wrapped electrical tape around the outside of a traditional outlet, and the whole point of that is to reduce the likelihood of coming into contact with those electrically charged terminals. The fact that this new outlet can internally contain all of the electronics makes it truly the safest outlet on the market today. Speaking of safety, it's worth noting that these are already tamper resistant, which means they're already code compliant with National Electric Code for new outlets. This means that whether you're brand new to electrical work or you're a tradesman with decades of experience, this new method is considerably safer than traditional outlets. They even cover the bridge between the two plugs so that you can, if you need to, lift this lid, snap off the tab, and then cover it back up again. This allows you to attach each plug separately to a different power source, or if you want to, to put a switch on one of the plugs. There have definitely been times when I wish I had a little bit more of this strap to work with. This is the part that sits on top of the drywall or the wall panel, and if that's not cut properly, like this one in this outlet, it's gonna be pretty difficult and you have to use spacers or fix the drywall, add something to the paneling, maybe even put a box extender on there to handle that. All of those things can be a lot of time and a lot of effort when there's one thing that can make this so much easier. The Decora Edge comes with this extra maybe one eighth of an inch or so tab on both the top and the bottom, giving you that much more room to work with. You can see here it's actually a lot wider than a typical outlet would be with the mouse ears and everything. This one's quite a bit wider and taller. And if you don't happen to need that, it'll just take you a couple of seconds with some pliers to just snap those off. While there are a lot of great features about this, it's not perfect for all situations and it is not the perfect outlet. One of the things I want to point out here in regards to these outlet tabs up here is that this is really too big to fit in most electrical metal junction boxes. Especially if you're using a smaller size, this just will not fit. You'd have to kind of hack this thing to pieces to get it to fit in there and it's not necessarily designed for that sort of use. So depending on where you live, what kind of boxes you're working with, or what project you're working on, you wanna check beforehand to see if this is a good fit. On a similar note, because these are Decora outlets, that means that they need Decora plates to go with them. You can't use your traditional duplex outlet plates, you're gonna to have to get some new ones to go with these. Decora plates are inexpensive, just like regular plates, and they're readily available at just about every store, but be sure to plan accordingly if you do want to use these. I bought a 10 pack of the Decora plates to go with these so I don't have to worry about it. This larger and broader strap piece up here and down here actually leads us right into our next feature. And that is the fact that they have multi-gang alignment. And that doesn't mean that the Bloods and the Crips are cool and they're getting along now or anything like that. But it does mean that when you have to put multiple outlets in one box or multiple light switches in one junction box, and if you've done this before, you know what I'm talking about, it can be an absolute nightmare to try to get all of them to line up so that when you put the plate on, all of the faces stick right through in the exact right spot. Now you may have noticed that I'm referring to light switches and that's because yes, Decora Edge comes not only in outlets but also in a single pole and three-way light switches. All Decora Edge light switches and outlets include alignment tabs to perfectly align them to each other. So they fit right into the multi-gang plate just as they should. How clever is that? I mean, this just puts a smile on my face because I've spent so much time trying to align things that just don't line up naturally where they take care of it automatically. So, how much do they cost and where do you get them? Those are good questions. The first answer is they're $3.50 roughly if you buy just one, or you can buy a 10 pack for $25, making them $2.50, which is what I did. Now, yes, this is definitely more expensive than the cheapo residential outlets that you get for about 75 cents when you buy them in bulk. In my opinion, absolutely worth it because they're so much easier and so much safer, especially if anybody else is gonna be working on these outlets down the road, which is pretty much guaranteed to be the case. As for where you can pick some of these up locally, you can't, at least not right now. You do have to buy these online, which is what I did, but you can buy them at homedepot.com and I'll put links to them in the description down below if you wanna check that out. Now, that said, these are made by Leviton and Leviton is carried by Home Depot across the country and so I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing these on the shelves at Home Depot before long, maybe other stores as well, I can't be sure. 
Lastly, just a request to Leviton, to Eaton, to Lutron, to all of the companies that are making light switches, whether it's smart light switches or outlets, anything along this line, let's see more of these. Let's see more of this enclosed body like this where we don't have exposed electronics. This is safer, this is faster, this is easier, this is more intuitive. The color coding, all the things that we've talked about today, I would love to see more of this in my day-to-day -day use when I'm working with electrical boxes. If you agree with me, put a comment down below and let's see if we can get a word out to the product managers and others out there that are in charge of making these decisions that we want to see more of this type of ingenuity. My name is Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.